went to a pole clinic the other day and I did film it so we've got an intro we've got me kind of at the venue and then going into the arena looking at the poles and then my GoPro really rudely um, corrupted the footage so there's no footage of Estrid actually doing the clinic and she did so so well so I was actually really sad that the footage was gone because one I wanted to look back on it but two, I wanted to share it with you guys because I was really proud of her. And it was a really useful drill. Like I really enjoyed it. It was really useful for her, really useful for me. So instead of completely kind of scrapping it, I'm gonna put the intro after this and I'm gonna recreate kind of the same drill. Now I don't have as many poles as we had in the pole clinic, but try and recreate it as best I can at home so that you can give it a go if you want to but also just so you can see how pleased I was with her um, after the session so we'll go to the intro now and then we'll come back I'll show you kind of the pole configuration <laughs> what you're doing um, and then you can see the outro after we've done a little bit of practicing it at home I think it's winter look at this we have our first icy yard and I've got so many layers on I think it's like minus one at the moment um it's Sunday and today I'm going to my first ever I've never been to one in my life at all though maybe as a young rider we did pole work does that count at like young rider camp anyway this is my first adult um pole clinic I'm taking Estrid to the Kingswood Equestrian Centre I've never been there before it's about an hour away from me um and I'm really excited and it's in an indoor arena and we are, as usual, on the Get Estrid Used to New Venues mission. I've got her in, she's all groomed, having a munch before we leave. Boots are on. Oh, nervous poo, because the dogs are running around outside. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, our dressage is in one week's time, so hopefully this will be good preparation. Um, it's a group lesson, so I will just be filming the head cam rather than having like a, a video camera in the arena because I don't think that would be fair on everyone else. Um, although I'm sure they would be fine with it, but I wouldn't be that comfortable. So it's just going to be my head cam, my point of view. Um, and yeah, so we'll load up. Are you finishing your breakfast or are we too nervous? Hmm? Maybe a little bit more? Okay, we'll load up and we will see you there. made it i'm always still so grateful when we actually make it i tell you it really is the icing on the cake getting to where we want to be um it's quite fancy like it's got a covered walker and it's quite big and an indoor it looks really nice so i'm gonna go have a little wander around see what i'm contending with it's an hour until our lesson i wanted to come a little bit earlier to like walk around see if i could calm her down i'm just gonna have a little scout out to see where to go and i really need a wee so i will get back to you once I've done a recce. Well done. Good <laughs> girl. Yo. Oh, you're not so bad, huh? Oh. Good girl, that's good. This has made me so happy. Last time I tried to t tie her to a trailer at an event, she dug a hole, she paced, she didn't eat, she was shaking. I think she's shaking a little bit. But look, look at the Lester just chilling. I mean, she can't see any of the horses at the moment, but there's one about to come out of that lorry. So, we'll see what her reaction is like then. Okay, she's a bit sweaty. I think it's a quarter sheet kind of day again. Yeah, look at this. This is how good Thermotexes are. Look at all of this being wicked away from her. 
a sweaty pony. Look at that. So proud, Estrid. Well done. She's a bit soggy. I've just put her saddle on, a waterproof rug, and I have also put her quarter sheet on because it is quite chilly and soggy. And seeing as she's just chilling, I'm gonna leave her tied there. Another mummy has turned up. And she's being really good, aren't you? Yes. So this is this is exactly what I want. This would be really good for vetting. She's still a bit wired, but like aware, alert, hyper alert, but actually quite relaxed, huh? You're a good girl. So I've got about 15, 20 minutes now before we get on. So I'll wait a little bit longer before I put a bridle on walk around I'm gonna have some fluid so I'm peak performance and then we'll see what our first pole session is like Good. no digging I know there are other ponies over there but you don't need to dig do you no no digging good girl okay. no other ponies you're gonna have friends in a minute we're doing a group lesson Shall we go have a little walk around the indoor? Hey, 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 you're all right. Good girl. Hey. Come on, then. Let's have a little walk around. Oh, look at all these poles. Coloured poles, Astrid. Hey, coloured poles. a lot of holes. What a place to poo. Ooh. Hey, what a place to poo. I know. Took a little bit of time for you to chill out, didn't it? gonna have some daylight. Daylight! Alright, could I just have everybody down at the sea end of the arena please? That's a good job we're already here, eh? That's your own shadow. That's your own shadow. And last but by no means. <laughs> uh, I'm Beth, this is Estrid. Um, she is my baby aspiring endurance horse. But over winter, because as you may have noticed, she's a little bit nervous. Yeah. Um, this is her first time in a group lesson, our first time ever doing a pole session in my whole life. <laughs> yeah. Um, so over dressage, we no over dressage over winter we are aspiring to do some dressage. So I get her out and about, and she gets used to more environments and more horses around. She hasn't kicked, but she is. I don't know what she's going to be like. Um, I'm quite relaxed, so as she's having a hissy fit, I feel like I'll be quite chilled. So don't feel like you've got to nanny her the, the, she's gonna have to one day be in like a hundred horse mass start so we've got to start somewhere <laughs> um but out of today i just want her to like relax i want to know what kind of pole work i can do um i think anything will be a good experience for her today so no problem. 
Right, I'm going to give you five, six, seven minutes to have an independent work in. So please use the entire arena. If you want to take her over any poles, could you please just use the white, yellow, and red at the very bottom? Yeah. Those two poles. Only because if you go over any others and I'm looking at anybody else and I don't know they've been kicked, yeah. I'll start then with the dodgy pole. <laughs> so just because she's nervous, if she's concerned, if you want to take her over some and you're working in, the same with the other two. If you want to go over just a couple before we start going, you're more than welcome to go over the two at the other end by A. Okay? So I'm going to keep an eye on the time. <laughs> please do what you'd normally do. But please remember the rules of left to left. If you're having a walk, just come on in in a track. Those in the higher gates, take precedence over the track. Again, as you're getting a working in, that'll be good for her. Yeah. Super. Off you go, folks. You're all right. See? That's your shadow. That's your shadow. <laughs> Let's get your legs underneath you. Come on. Okay, so now you've seen the intro and us warming up in the arena. Um, it was really funny when she started spooking at her own shadow because we've not been, we've only been in an indoor arena once and the lights, <laughs> she was like, oh my God, my shadow's following me. But basically what they did, <laughs> excuse me, Astrid, is have a long straight line of poles and then you could go in two directions on the diagonal. And what we did is we went straight through and then we went straight through, turned over that one and then all the way around and then we went straight through <laughs> wait Astrid wait she's like I'm ready straight through and then all the way around and back and I found that really beneficial really enjoyed it she even did her first ever canter poles where we did straight through and then there was some like this way across the school that we came around and did a canter with um we don't have enough poles for that and I was very surprised that we did that because we haven't actually done any work on our canter transitions in a school. So you did very well, didn't you? It's a shame that we don't have the footage to share, but I'm still going to share a little bit, um, as you can see. So, yeah. Now you've seen us do a little bit of the poles, hopefully it gives you an idea of what we did. Um, we will go back to the day at Kingswood um, to see how pleased I was with Astrid. And you can see like from the poles today, it makes her concentrate, it brings her down a bit more, it makes me think about something else, um, like more about my riding and she looks after herself. Like I think it's going to be a really good drill. And yes, it's not perfect and we lose our shoulders around the corners and sometimes I don't turn her very well and it's like a motorbike rather than a nice bend and balanced, but that's exactly what this is teaching her. Um, and I wanna show you the imperfect, like you have to put all this effort in and I'm not a professional, she's not a professional, and the result that we want to get is gonna be from months and years of hard work and I wanna show you that. So back to Kingswood where I was super happy with how we did. Look at her. I've untacked. Um, I won't wash her down here because we're going to do it with hot water when we get back and she'll get sweaty in the trailer so I might as well do it when we get back. But I have cold sponge to legs. But look at her, we finished. We made friends like she was a bit funny about coming out the arena and she wanted to follow the horses that we'd had the session with. But look at her now. 
like stood at the trailer eating and there's people in the show jumping ring way more boxes and stuff around i am so proud of her um we had our first canter in a school over poles um which i think is quite extreme for a first canter she did rush into it but she went into it she's on the correct lead and you went over the poles beautifully didn't you i am so proud of her from the horse that i started with to the horse at the end the progress how much she tried you're so good i'm so proud of you and like I'm really enjoying it, like I really enjoyed that, so I think more of that kind of stuff is in my future. Hey, okay? we're just ready. Have a nice bath when we get home. So we're just gonna load her up, close my pack room, load her up, go home. Yeah, but what a successful outing. Hey. Okay? <laughs>